Really? Can you just take it off? You have to wear that this morning? Take what off? Hmm. Don't give me that. What do you mean, take what off? The mask. Your Draugr mask. Oh, this little number? Oh, th I don't see why it's a problem. Really? Really? It's an undead creepy face. It's the last thing I want to see before I have my coffee. So is it the... I mean, is it the skull? Because uh, I thought you liked skulls. It's the eyes. They, like, pierce my soul in the morning. It can't be that bad. You know what? I don't have to deal with this. Oh, yeah. Mission accomplished. Hey everyone, it's Bill Duran here from Punished Props. What do you think of those creepy Draugr eyes, huh? If you like those, then you're going to really enjoy my new ebook! Foamsmith Volume 3 Undersuits, Straps, and Lights is out for your consumption. It goes great with the rest of the Foamsmith trilogy, both 1 and 2. Grab it now, and you too can make awesome, creepy, glowing lights for your costume. I don't know about you guys, but when I first got started with basic electronics, my soldering skills were not that great. So I figured I'd take this chance to get everyone up to speed with a primer on basic soldering technique. First, the tools. Soldering iron. Solder. Wire. Wire stripper. Heat shrink tubing. A lighter and also consider getting yourself a set of helping hands. Links to all of these tools can be found in the description. All right, let's get started. Plug in that soldering iron. First, strip the plastic bit off the tips of your wires and then twist up the ends of the wire all nice and tidy-like. Then, slide on a piece of heat shrink tubing on one side of the wire. Next, twist the two wires together where they will be soldered. Then you'll want to tin the tip of your soldering iron. A little bit of solder on the tip will help transfer heat to the wires. Then touch the soldering tip to the wires where they connect. Take a length of your solder and touch it to the wires, not the soldering iron. If the wires are hot enough, the solder will melt and attach the two strands of wire. Magic! Don't touch it right away, it's still hot. Give it a second to cool down. If done properly, your solder will look all nice and pretty. If not done properly, it will look like this hot mess right here. With your wires soldered, slide that heat shrink tubing on and torch it with your lighter. This will cinch it up and protect your connection. Voila, you are now an uber pro at soldering. You are one step closer to adding amazing lighting effects to your armor creations. Again, if you haven't had a chance to check it out, Foamsmith Volume 3 dives even deeper into super rad costume lighting. There will be a link to where you can pick that up in the description. Thanks for checking out this video, you guys. If it was helpful to you, consider sharing it amongst your friends. Also, take a peek at some of my other prop and costume making videos. There's a whole bunch of really good stuff there. Now, get out there and make something. Good job. Oh, <laughs> there's water in there. Oh, no. <laughs> Is it the, uh, is it the skull? Cause I, like, I thought you liked skulls. Which <laughs> 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 so, is really funny cause I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> there, there, there. Okay. Uh. Well, it's still soggy. <laughs> <laughs>